How many people you know that they put all their time, investment, their energy, their life into securing themselves for retirement? And they finally got to the age, let's say 65, and they retired. And then two months after, they're diagnosed with a brain tumor, cancerous tumor, or liver, liver cancer. And then after all this investment, all this time of trying to secure themselves, then they just die. And everything's gone. A lifetime of hard work and savings and investing, all of it is gone. I'm not saying it happens all the time, but it happens enough for me to realize that what I'm looking for is not out there in the world, it's not in another human being, it's not in a lover, it's not in a soulmate, it's not in my parents or my children or anything. None of it is safe and secure. And all of it can change at any moment from one thing to another thing. You can examine that. I highly recommend that you examine that for yourself. I highly recommend that you doubt everything I tell you because I encourage you to do that. Doubt it, but go and check it out for yourself. Look into it. But when you do look at things and you start to turn your attention inwards and you commit to an inner exploration, an inner journey, so the attention starts to shift, a shift of attention, simply a shift of attention. Rather than me putting my attention on the outer world, I start to turn my attention in the inner world. And sort of rejecting what is changing. Sort of not putting my attention on that which changes. Then a phenomena starts to take place. Something's shifting. So something begin to reveal itself. I may get a glimpse of an infinite and unlimited vastness of a space that is always here, it's always within me, and it's never changing. I may get a glimpse of a changeless, but that changeless is not my body, it's not my mind, and it's not my emotions. And by getting a glimpse of the changeless, my investment on the changeless begins to go down and I begin to invest on that which doesn't change. I'm going to elaborate on that because <clears throat> So it's not really abstract and you have something you can relate to and you can understand it. I've spoken about this many times in my academy, in my lectures, teachings. Uh, but I want to put it in a very simple language and I want to give you a direct message. For, to all spiritual teachers, 
I, I'm sorry, to all spiritual seekers. That which we're looking for, whatever you want to name it, happiness, satisfaction, God realization, true love, any anything you like to name it, and anything that is what is tickling and pulling you, and that's the fire in your heart that is drawing you. towards this happiness, towards this inner peace, this, towards this security, towards this place that you want some answers so you can make sense of what is happening in the world surrounding you. Whatever is the drive force is taking you inwards, has brought you this morning, brought all of us here at this time, and has got our attention. You have to trust that. That is a force inside yourself that is guiding you and yearning for awakening. Something inside us has been activated in a very mysterious ways. However we met, however we came across each other, whether it was YouTube, Facebook, whether you've been at my academy, whether we met somewhere and we ended up here, whatever, somebody told you about this. If you're here and we're together in this, something, some intelligence, something which is way beyond my thinking abilities is at work here. And I've learned to trust that. The pure truth, the essence of the purity of that which doesn't change, it reveals itself to itself at the very right time in your and my spiritual evolution. It won't come any earlier and it won't come any later. It will appear at the exact perfect time. So you can trust yourself and your intuitive knowing for your decisions and for where you're at in this point, at this point in life. And trusting that, you may want to take a few moments to look inside, to look within yourself. And maybe, maybe you discover the truth of who you are. That which you are looking for is already inside yourself and it's waiting to be discovered by you, is crying out, is yearning to be discovered. And I'm going to give this to you in a very simple way. It is possible that today, right now, by the end of this meeting, you become fully realized. Completely as self-realization happens. Only by following one simple thing. But you have to pay attention to this. And you have to be fully present with for this.